Sybil reporting from Amsterdam at, I'm at the Ecom uh, conference and I'm just about to talk to Claire Bonstra. She's one of the founding partners of Layer. So I'll go over to Claire. Hi there. Hi Claire, how are you? Hi. So um, talk to us a little bit about what Layer does. Yes, Layer is an augmented reality platform which overlays digital information on top of the camera image on your mobile phone. So by looking through the camera of your mobile you can see for example where houses for sale are, uh, where you can find nice restaurants, uh, where people, uh, where information about uh, events for example, where can I find toilets, uh, what's <laughs> up next. Um, there has even been launched a recovery.gov layer very recently which shows uh, how much money went to which institutions and mapping them in augmented reality, Fantastic. for example. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, and um, what were you talking about here today? I uh, Basically my talk had three uh, subjects or three elements. Uh, I first talked a, a little bit about uh, new facts and figures for Layer, so I shared uh, some of our uh, download statistics. I talked a bit about uh, what's happening in augmented reality in general. So a lot of it's going on in the research and development departments, in universities. Um, so developments are going really fast and I shared some, uh, some videos and some examples. And I showed a video with it, like our vision on augmented reality, where we see this going, uh, going to in fact. So um, what is the future for augmented reality? Um, the future for augmented reality is the fact that um, your reality becomes enriched with anything, with new elements, um, with uh, new buildings which have not been constructed yet, uh, and you see them on top of the construction site. Uh, you can see um, art, three-dimensional art, new art being created in space, which you can see when you look through the camera of your mobile. Um, you can place um, three-dimensional hearts as a sign that I love you uh, in front of the door of your beloved one instead of a dull e-card. You can play games in augmented reality, place uh, soccer goals somewhere in space uh, on the square uh, of, your, of your town and then you see the ball and you walk towards the ball and then you slide, you kick the ball and you walk towards it and kick it again and then it's in the virtual goal. Basically anything will do. It is, it's almost a new medium. Uh, and the most important thing is that still now this is a very uh, first step that it's uh, in, in a mobile phone uh, that you can use the different sensors and different elements of the mobile phone to see the new reality but uh, very soon there will be things like head mounted displays uh, which will take layer, we should take augmented reality out of this boxed device that will really put it in your reality. Fantastic, cool. Okay, we'll show us a little demo. Okay, um, this is start screen of, uh, of layer. Okay. It's very hard to make it sure. There are in fact four buttons uh, to discover new layers. There's a favorite section, a featured section, which uh, in fact shows layer which we really like or new layers. And there's a popular section which in fact lists all layers which are available in your geographic area, so all around you. And uh, we are now in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. And um, probably due to the fact that we are a Dutch company, there are loads and loads and loads and loads of layers available here nearby. So um, I can scroll down uh, further, but we can... Uh, well, there are layers like uh, this is a new layer it shows the history of the Netherlands so what happened where um, a nice layer for example showing the uh, shops and their opening times so you can see look around you and see which um, which shops are open to when um, there's Mazda having a layer uh, indicating the dealers uh, there's an AED layer which shows the, uh, where the automatic electronic defibrillators are located. Okay. So if somebody uh, well, falls down yeah. with a cardiac attack, we'll you, can find, uh, um, you can find something. There's one of my favorites is Dove's Guide for Church Bell Ringers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, showing windmills, etc. etc. We can go on and on and on. So but let me show you uh, one, uh, one layer, uh, a layer which is very practical, uh, showing uh, restaurants in Netherlands. Uh, Int is uh, uh, the biggest restaurant guide in the Netherlands. And let me show you uh, how this layer works. 
So I click on layer, it now connects to the database of ENS. So we're not running the layer ourselves, we're just talking to the database of ENS. And you see now different spots. Yeah, we're looking red to red. But uh, here it's uh, showing in, so there's one uh, spot over there. In the radar on the top right corner, uh, you see all little dots displaying where other places to eat are. Uh, but let's say there's uh, something uh, showing here, uh, the gallery, it's, which is a restaurant. I can uh, choose to, uh, I could immediately call the restaurant uh, to reserve a table. I can say take me there, which opens up a Google map uh, where I can, I can uh, get a route description. Yeah. But I want more info first. So it opens up now a mobile site from Inch, from the restaurant guide, displaying the gallery, uh, this is the address, this is a phone, uh, and it's indicating that it's got the score the 7.0 for uh, dinner, 7.0 for servers, uh, 7.4 for decor, etc. So it's displaying all the information from, uh, from this service itself, basically. So we're talking to that database. Perfect. That's amazing. Love it. Yeah, so this is um, in fact just the first start, first step in augmented reality is just displaying two dimensional dots, or it's even almost one dimension, just displaying dots. But already the fact that you can look around you through the camera of your mobile, um, it's a much more intuitive interface than just having a map and being completely disconnected from reality. Yeah. So people really understand what this can do for them. Brilliant. Very soon we will launch layer 3D. Ah. Um, uh, well, layer version 3.0 and it will include uh, 3D and 3D being uh, displaying three-dimensional objects uh, on top of reality. And now I can give you also a little demo and uh, it opens up now. You see, oh, I'm afraid my battery drains. Ouch, sorry for that. Ah. Uh, no, not gonna work. No, I have to switch on the other phone. Oh shoot. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry. What I was Wait. going to show you is in fact layer 3D displaying uh, three-dimensional objects in space. Um, we had made a technical demo displaying uh, windmills, um, which is turning around, and an experience dome, which is a dome. It looks, let's say, pink from the outside. And when you walk, physically walk into the dome, you're all of a sudden in a different environment. So we have a, we create a Japan dome, and when you walked into the dome, you're all of a sudden in the middle of a street in Japan, and you hear Japanese street sounds. And when you look around you, you see the blue sky. That's amazing. You see all the buildings around you, etc. That is amazing. I could even have an airplane fly by, but I used my phone too much today, so the battery dry, uh, was completely drained. So, oh. I couldn't show you, but. Um, in a few weeks time we will launch it and there will be fantastic content um, well, ranging from, well, no, just see it Wait when and we see. launch it. Wait and see and then... Uh, well, where should we go to check it out, the launch? Um, well, layer.com, we will announce everything on our blog, you'll see it on Twitter and it will for sure be on the, on the big uh, blogs as well. Fantastic. So, you'll see it. Excellent. Here. Okay. Thanks very much, Claire. You're welcome. Okay, Isabel. Okay, I'm signing out from Ecom in Amsterdam. Bye.